Charles was about to address Sydney school children when shots rang out. His personal detective moved swiftly to get the prince out of the way. The attacker was wrestled to the ground, having dashed from the front of the crowd, firing a starting pistol as he closed in. Other guests asked a slightly bemused Prince of Wales if he was unscathed. Amid the confusion in front of a large and horrified crowd, it seemed for a few terrible moments that a tragedy had occurred. Keep back. Keep back. Keep back. Those of us present did fear that an attempt had been made on the Prince's life. After a few minutes, the organisers tried to restore calm. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, everything is totally under control. Please sit down, everyone's A-OK. Okay. Let's get Let's on go. with the fun. I saw the sky of Asian appearance fact. rush out of the crowd. Our I saw him fire one shot which went into the air. He then reached the stage, crashed into a lectern, and as he crashed, he fired another life. shot. If he, had, if he hadn't crashed into the lectern, um, he would have got the prince. He missed the pr narrowly missed the prince. As soon as he got there, he was tackled by police, and, and then the security guy rushed over to the police people. and pulled him away. The man arrested was named by Australian television as David Kang, a 23-year-old university student who will appear in court tomorrow. Re-examining the incident shows a cool prince and lightning reactions from his detective. This is protection work at its best, but the fact that Charles has fairly low-key security has raised difficult questions. He and his advisers don't want heavy-handed minders between prince and public. The Australian police make clear, though, that they intend to step up security during the rest of the royal tour. After the incident, the prince delivered his intended speech, not mentioning what had just happened. And Your Excellency, ladies and gentlemen, here have I been standing waiting for what I thought was the, uh, the young uh, uh, schoolboy and schoolgirl of, of the year to come and receive a prize. The Premier of New South Wales was on the platform and he was among those who leapt on the attacker. His Royal Highness uh, has asked me to assure you that uh, he is unconcerned, he is not upset, and his major concern is the fact that what has otherwise been a marvellous day uh, has been spoilt by uh, that small incident. Uh, he felt in no danger and uh, at no time did he believe that there was anything untoward occurring. The Prince of Wales continued his genial way, meeting and talking with people. But after the events in Tumbalong Park, security considerations may change this relaxed atmosphere. Nicholas Owen, News at 10, Sydney.